Friends, I'm going to convert a stereo track to MS, that's mid and side, then convert it back again to normal left-right stereo. There isn't much point to this in itself, but MS can be useful for a lot of purposes, and being able to work with MS is an essential part of an audio engineer's skill set. So what I'm doing is an exercise and useful practice for more complex MS processing. I have to say that Logic Pro doesn't make it easy to work with MS. It doesn't make it easy to work with mono files either, so some of what I do will be workarounds. That's fine, whatever gets the job done. If you know of a better method for any part of this process, or all of it, that doesn't need plugins, let me know in the comments. My starting point is a simple stereo recording of speech. You can tell it's stereo because it pans from centre to left, then to right, then back and forth a couple of times. It's a useful source file for this demonstration. Let's listen. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er dale and hill, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils. Beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. Now I'll bounce it to two separate mono files, left and right. Logic doesn't like to bounce to mono, but it can be persuaded. I'll set the section that I want to bounce, otherwise Logic will create a very long file. So, I go to the bounce window, check that everything's OK, and make sure I set file type split. This will bounce to two mono files, one with the suffix .l, the other with the suffix .r. There's no option to bounce to a single mono file. Let's do it. I'll leave the file name as output 1, 2, because I'm going to change it in a moment. I don't need that track for the moment, so I'll mute it. I'll also create two new empty tracks. I want to import my new mono left and right files, but I need to go to the finder first and make a couple of changes. As you can see, because I bounced in split format, I have two mono files with suffixes .l and .r. If I import these back into Logic as they are, Logic will determine that they are two halves of a stereo recording and place them onto one stereo track, which isn't useful because that's what I had to start with. So I'll rename the tracks and miss out the .l and .r. Now I can go back to Logic and Import. If I pan these tracks left and right, we'll get the same as before. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er dale and hill, when all at once I saw a crowd a host of golden daffodils, beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. Now I want to create the M and S files. M is left plus right, S is left minus right. I'll pan both tracks centre again. Because I'm adding the two tracks to create the M file, I need to make sure there won't be any clipping, so I'll set the faders on both tracks to minus 3 dB. And I'll bounce, again, to split files. I'll call this file M. To create the S file, I need to subtract right from left. To do this, I can invert the right channel. I do this by opening the audio editor by double-clicking and selecting the File tab. From the Functions menu, I can select Invert. I can close the editor. Now I can bounce again. I'll call this S. Now I can mute the left and right tracks. I'll go back to the finder and delete the .l and .r suffixes. In fact, I can delete both .r files because I don't need them. If I don't delete .l, Logic will complain that it can't find a corresponding .r file. Now I'll create two more tracks. And import the m and s files. These tracks are not useful in themselves, they don't make any sense to the ear, but in a real-life project they can be used for processing. 
you might want to EQ the middle of the stereo image while leaving the sides unaffected, in which case you would EQ the M track. MS compression can be interesting too. But for this exercise, I'm going to convert them immediately back to left and right. Left is M plus S, right is M minus S. So I'm going to do much the same as before. Again, to prevent clipping, I'll set both tracks to minus 3 dB. Everything's in place to create the new left file. So I'll bounce. I'll call this new L. To create the new right file, I need to subtract S from M. So I'll invert S similarly to what I did before. And bounce. I can mute the M and S tracks. And I'll go back to the finder. Those pesky .l and .r suffixes are back again. I'll delete the .r files and delete the .l suffixes. I'll go back to Logic and create two more tracks. And now import my new files. Pan left and right. And play. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er dale and hill, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils, beside the lake, beneath the trees, fluttering and dancing in the breeze. So there we have it, converting from left-right stereo to MS and back again in Logic Pro. See you soon.